now the premier event of the day. This is a $10,000 race. It features some of the top competitors in personal watercrafting. And I, I, I think yeah, you're going to recognize these names. Certainly Larry Rippett Kroger is here. But more importantly, this really highlights the driving skills of these guys because they're all driving the same kind of craft. Exactly. This is the brand new Yamaha Super Jet. As they're lined up on the starting line, you see the design, the gray and yellow on the uh, decals. Uh, these guys have been chosen because of their familiarity with the Yamaha Super Jet. It's in its first year of production. $10,000 in prize money, but it's evenly distributed. Everybody will wind up with something in this race, but the winner will walk away with the lion's share. Exactly. Ten grand. It's one of the highest paying events ever. And you got to figure the lighter that the racer is, the easier it's going to be for them to get out front. So uh, Matt Allegood and Chris McLuggage, I think, kind of have an advantage here. They've also been on the Super Jets a little bit more than the other guys. Well, young Matt, let's talk about the Super Jet. You say it's a new type of craft. What distinguishes this, then, from some of the others we've seen today, like in the in the Pro Modified and things like that? Well, the Super Jet is the latest entry into personal watercraft by Yamaha. Yamaha came out with the Wave Runner and the Wave Jammer. More of a sit-down model, more of a two-passenger craft. The Super Jet is more of a stand-up model. That looks Race like champions. it looks like Jam and Jeff is about ready to make his move here. Oh, on the inside, it's Jacobs. On the outside, Allegood. Jacobs really trying to push Allegood out of the way, but Allegood, oh, look. nice move. Yes, sir. And Jacobs goes down. A lot of people here from Florida would love to see Matt Allegood, whose family is also here in the crowd, take home a good part of that $10,000 cash purse. And the big Yamaha Jet Pilot race of champions here at the Bush World Cup featured event. It's an invitational. How do they get here? Well, these machines were trucked down from the factory. Again, Allegood pulls up, trying to straighten his back to uh, release some of the tension there. The machines were brought down from the factory, identically prepared by one of their mechanics. Of course, all the racers are here competing anyway, except for Ripping Kroger and Watkins, right. who were flown in specifically for this event. Again, I see Alaga continuing to straighten up. He's definitely showing signs of tiring. You see it there on a turn. He must have maybe a, like a muscle spasm in his lower back. He's got to pull back a handful of that throttle. He's losing speed every time he does that. You know, you can also see Jacobs pulling up too a little bit, perhaps uh, winded at this point. But a oh, what a move! An incredible move by Jeff Jacobs on the far right side of the track. Allegood had straightened up. He was making a turn around those double reds, and he was a little bit far outside, right. opened up the door, and Jacobs slid right past him on the inside. So Jacobs watching Allegood stand up a little bit too, picking his moment and making the most of it. And there he is, jamming Jeff. You know, you can almost sense it. I didn't want to say anything uh, to jinx Matt Allegood, but you could sense that he was waiting for the kill there, waiting to move from second into first. Matt Allegood, nonetheless, running a very strong race, able to keep off the three-time world champion, Jeff Jacobs, for that long. Final seconds of this race coming up. Now we've got a right-hand turn coming up for Jeff Jacobs. He'll come back along to the left and then take the dash home, and Jeff Jacobs will win this race. The race of champions, first ever, is pulled in by Jeff Jacobs. Phenomenal performance today for Jeff Jacobs in the race of championship. Matt Allegood, the local favorite, the hometown, the home state hero, I should say, finishes second. But the day belongs to Jeff Jacobs, who puts the dot on the perfect eye. Christy Carlson and Jeff Jacobs, the queen and the king of this sport.